Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. And it's your host again, Nike TMB, bringing you some drop zones. With me playing this spare twelve. And today, commentary, I'm going to talk about this spare twelve. How is the benefit to Modern Warfare Three and compared to Modern Warfare Two? What is the big difference using this shoddy? And also today, suppose I'm doing a challenge for myself that wearing pajamas during this commentary. That means only wearing pants, wearing a single T-shirt, and in the weather, I think Hong Kong is eight or nine degrees or ten-ish degrees. Within this cold air, I have to wear it. only one cloth is not enough. So I call it a challenge for myself, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this commentary. And. I want to tell you guys that I just joined a clan called Kung Fu. If you didn't heard it before, click on my channel description. You will know that. Also, I blocked it, so you guys will know that. Kung Fu is a clan that doing quick scopes on Modern Warfare 3 and different kind of Modern Warfare games and do some edits and stuffs. I joined the clan because I think it's cool. And those are Hong Kong people. That means I knew them. I can speak Chinese. Chinese fluently, not speaking this sucky English all day long during this commentary. So, I love that clan doing quick scopes. Hopefully, I can learn how to quick scope and using a sniper and get a better get a better kill death ratio in later on. And also, I use this best twelve because I want to do some specials and I want to do analysis on spares on using shotties on Modern Warfare Three compared to Modern Warfare Two. Also, as you can see, my shotty skills isn't too good, and I got a 3.0-ish kill death ratio, kill 27 and death 9. But I will use most of the time talking about random shit, such such as such as such as if I can speak correctly, bro. So yeah, let's head on with it. Spare to health. I use a red camo, as you can see. And I trained a quite a long time. I didn't know how to use a pump action shotgun, and I use striker very rare because it's single fire and it's not a pump action. Although it reduces the damage, but the range. Speaking of range, the rate of fire is way better than Spaz 12 and other random pump action shotguns. But on Modern Warfare 3, pump action shotguns are very, very disappointing. As you can see, the pump, I think it takes 0.5 seconds to finish the pump action. But on Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, it takes only 0.3 seconds to finish the pump action. So on this 0.2 seconds, it's very, very important. So every second is important, if you know. So. 0.2 seconds is very important, and also the damage and the range. As you can see, I didn't really kill a people; just miss a guy right here. Right? Accurate headshot. I think it's. I think spares. If you hit directly in a person, that don't means that you can definitely 100 percent guarantee you can kill that guy. Cause you, if you know that spares get a pretty shitty range and the power I don't know what it patched patched on Modern Warfare 3 but it so sucks that you can kill a guy in two shots I don't know why but imagine that when you get hit on reality if you get hit by a shotgun you will quickly cover your wounds and sit here crying for mommy for help so it's not big difference compared to dying. I don't know why I cannot kill a guy with a one shot, but I want to say that the range, the rate of fire, and also the power is way worse than Modern Warfare 2 shotguns. I don't know Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 shotguns how, how it developed, but. It got a serious range. I can definitely guarantee that point. Like using a sniper, the range. Using an SMG, not a sniper, but using an SMG, the range. 
You can one shot, one one hit, one kill. Not one kill, you can do quadruple kills if enemies standing straight lines. But yeah. In the Modern Warfare 3, you can attach wow, that was a quick blast voice. You can attach the proficiency card, range, um, hollow points we can which can increase the bullet damage, the shells damage, and yeah. It can increase the rate of fire, either rate of fire, either the range, and either the fire, either the power. So, I think it's less a choice to choose. And also, compared to Modern Warfare 2, it's way worse than before. I play frequently on Modern Warfare 2 shotguns. I use decently, I use well on shotguns. On Modern Warfare 2, I'm talking about, but. After switching to Modern Warfare 3, things that started to change. When I start using the Spares 12, it was horrible. When is when the gun is class, I think level one, it got shitty aim, got shitty range. I don't know why, but until you got stabilized, I mean, after you reach decent level, level 30 or something, you got everything unlocked. I just attach the hollow points and also this extend the max hollow points and oh the grip the grip and increase the accuracy that's what I want to talk about if you attach the grip and the kick proficiency together the accuracy and recall will be the same so I rather attach a grip rather than a kick so that I can Get whole points to increase my bullet damage. And also, one point to talk about is if you're using shotguns, try to use a striker. My striker level is 30. I don't have enough time to level it up to 31 because I'm lazy, as you can see. Using different guns, try to provide some new clips for you guys. Hopefully, you can enjoy it. And striker is the best choice for Modern Warfare 3 shotguns. First of all, if you attach a proficiency called range, the range is same as Modern Warfare 2 shotgun, so it's not a big difference. I want to talk about, and also if you extend the max, put extend the max on it. Uh, first of all, you get many max to spray around. If you miss them, you can hit it second time so that you won't get killed do dumbly if you miss the shot. So, if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up. And this is my critical analysis. I have to put a quotation in it. Critical analysis on Modern Warfare 3 shotguns compared to Modern Warfare 2 so shotguns, shotguns. So, once again, fans watching guys, although my accent is a bit weird. So, fans watching guys again, please rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.